The pressure switch allows you to turn the air compressor on and off, turns the motor on and off at its set pressures, and has an unloader valve to drain the pressure out of the exhaust tube when the compressor turns off. Common problems with the pressure switch are burnt contacts, a worn out pressure spring, or damage from accidents such as something falling on it. Replacing the pressure switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Before you start any work on your air compressor, be sure to drain any compressed air from the tank. I'll begin by removing the pressure switch cover from the compressor. Next, I'll note the location of each of the wires and then remove the motor wires from the pressure switch. I'll use a pair of pliers to remove the strain relief from the housing. Now remove the breather line from the pressure switch. Now remove the exhaust pipe from the check valve. The motor and pump assembly is secured to the tank with four screws. I'll go ahead and remove them. With the bolts removed, now I can separate the motor and pump assembly from the tank. Next, I'll rotate the pressure switch and regulator assembly about 90 degrees so I can remove the regulator. Now remove the cord wires from the pressure switch. I'll remove the pressure relief valve. And now I can unthread the pressure switch from the tank. Now I can begin installing the new pressure switch. I'll start by removing the cover. On the back of the old pressure switch is a plug. I need to remove it and transfer it to the new one. Install some new thread tape on the plug and then thread it into the pressure switch. Now I'll apply some thread tape to the tank nipple, and then I can install the pressure switch. Now I'll reinstall the pressure relief valve.
and now the cord. I'll connect the cord wires to the location marked line on the pressure switch. I'll install the black wire and then the white. Now I can reinstall the regulator assembly. And now I can reinstall the motor and pump assembly onto the tank. I'll re-secure the motor and pump with the screws. And I'll re-secure the exhaust pipe. Next, I'll reinstall the motor wires. I'll put the cord clamp back onto the cord. and thread the wires through the pressure switch. and I'll connect the wires to the switch. And I'll connect the grounding wires. And now reconnect the exhaust pipe breather. And I'll finish by reinstalling the cover. And that's all it takes to replace the pressure switch on your air compressor.